couple men in the post. Shot is up and it's good. Way to start ball playing with efficiency. It looks like timeouts called by Dela Vidarian. And we will be back after. We are back after the timeout. There's going to be Comets ball coming down. Gonzalez on the top. Gonzalez Vidarian having some struggles trying to find the open person. Ball is saved by Dispinette. Another turnover by Del Vidarian. Dispinette on the wing. Bowman in the corner for three. And it's good! Already, already, two for two, and a steal by Bowman, too. He's going coast to coast, and the layup is good. He is unstoppable right now. Novadarian trying to get the pass, and a long pass to Young, and it looks like he's going to draw the foul on number 10, Rachel Savickle. I'll see you on the weekend, brother. On number 10, Rachel Savickle, that's our first person to foul, first team foul. And number 21, Gracie Mamaris in for number 14, Grace Lanzi. Oh, and it looks like number 25's foot was over the line. Cavalier ball going down. Another mental mistake by the Comets. And Mia Benetti is going to be coming in for Abby Kleischka. This Benetti and Sabic will still in the backcourt, up 14 to 2. <laughs> Mommer's on the wing. Takes over for the gift to Sabic. Sabic for three, and it's good. One hundred percent from the three-point line tonight. Great shooting by St. Thomas Moore. This tonight gets a deflection. It'll be Comets ball going down. And Delvedarian calls her second timeout. We'll be back. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports. And we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. After the timeout, Delvedarian has got to get the ball rolling figuratively and literally. Down 17 2 with only 12 with 12.47 left in the half. They got to get something working here. It's going to be the ball coming in, though. And it looks like number 24, Addison Stallings, is going to be taking it out. Gets it to Young. Right back to, back to Crawl. Stallings for three. No, good. Oh, and it looks like we have an injury on the, looks like we have an injury on the play. Oh. Oh, jeez. 
that did not look good. We will be back after the What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports, and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. Back after the injury, number, number 21, Grayson Marmer took quite a fall there, but she got right back up. Way to push through it, but she is currently sitting on there. And Sophia DeStefanis is coming in for it. St. Thomas Moore still up by 15. Bradley Crow on the wing. And Cartucci's mid ranger is no good. Cavalier ball going down. Still going to be Dispinet and Savico in the backcourt. Gets to the boltman on the wing. Benetti in the corner. Driving. Shot is up, and the shot is no good. Florida by the Comets. Stallings trying to get the fast break. Three-pointer, long two is no good. Florida by Dispinet. Vickle in the wing for three, and it's good! Keeping that 100% free throw percentage good for the whole team. Thomas got to get something going here. Stalling three-pointers, no good. Ordered by Kroll. Goes down. Clutchucci's mid-ranger is no good. Ordered by Benetti. Using that speed to her advantage, trying to get the fast break. Gets it to the Stephanus for mid-ranger, and the mid-ranger is dead! Talk about shooting lights out early. And Thomas Moore takes a 20-point lead with 11 left in the half. Trap comes by the Cavs. Kroll gets a Euro step, and the layup's no good. And Kroll is going to draw a foul there. The flash gets back in for Boltman. So the foul is on the ground. Belvedereian ball. Gets the stones in the corner. Brings it back top. So trying to make something work. Layup is good. Second basket of the night for the Comets. Cuts that Cavalier lead down to 18. This went out on the wing. She has the open lane. She takes it. Oh, and the lane just goes out. Boarded by Kroll. Gets to the Stallings. Dribbles it up. Passes it to Gonzalez. Nothing's open right now. Deflected by DeStefanis. And Stallings takes a mid-ranger. No good. A little bit of a rush shot there. I got a, Kevin's got a box out on that one. And the three-pointer from Gonzalez is good. Oh, and an easy steal by Gonzalez. He's got the open lane and the layup's good. Bad pass by Savickle there. This is just Vanette. This Vanette drives. He goes right in the contact ball. The Stephanus gets the foul. She's going to the free throw line. Our number five, Riley Kroll, that's your first person to find the first team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers is Sophia Day. Stephanus show get two. The Stephanus, the first free throw is no good. <laughs> Taking 
in Brazilian. And it's definitely the second shot is good. Stalin's trying to make something work for the Comets here. Get to the Gonzalez. A little bit of pressure by the Cavaliers. Crawl was open. Layup is good. Looks like they're finally getting their rhythm on. So Nichols taking it up. Get to the Rindle on the wing. Drives. Oh, travel violation on Rindle there. The Belvedere has cut the lead down to 12 now with 9.25 left in the half. Leaving Crow wide open on the wing. Strap comes. Driving on Rindle. Baby by the snap in this there. Scored by Benetti. Taking it down. Between the legs. Stephanie swings it to this fickle. Up on the top. Nothing's there. Takes it to Rondo on the wing. Ball screen by the Stephanie. Post up. Shot is no good. Better down a couple times by Benetti, but it just like it's going to stay. Looks like it's going to stay Cavaliers ball. Looks like Grace Lanzu is going to be coming back to third for the Cavs. Taking that game for your Cavaliers is number 14, Grace Lanzu. In Camille. Smith was taking the inbounds pass. This is the Stephanie Stephanie's wide open layup is good. And Carl is once again wide open on the left side of the court. Stalling three is good. And they got to start stepping up now and cutting that lead down to 11. Oh, it deflected by Gonzalez. My question gets the upper hand on that one. It looks like it's going to be a foul. Looks like it's going to be a foul on Riley Crow. And Crawl's already got two fouls, already halfway into the first half. Randall's open on the wing. Pump fix. Mid Ranger is no good. Easy rebound by Savickle. Especially gets him on the wing. Drives. Loses the ball. Lansley dives. This is going to be a fight for the ball. Jump ball. Possession points to Delvin And it's going to be Comets ball going down after the jump ball. The Cavaliers got to get number five guarded on the left side of the court. Currently wide open. So they switch into a 1 3 1 now. Let's see how that works for them. Goal drives. Foul on the ground. Oh. Thomas Moore foul. On number 42, Sophia Dish. So the shot was good by Crow. Looks like the foul is going to be on the ground before the shot. Delvedere is going to get it on the bottom. Oh, what an overpass by number three. And now Damro. Delvedere is going to get it back, though. Stallings looking for the opening. Nothing's there. Good defense by the Cavaliers. Gonzalez tries to look for the open shot, but it's not there. Back to Stallings. And the 1 3 1 is throwing the comments off. The crawl drives, and her layup's good. They gotta step up on that one, making that lead go to single digits. Seven, seven and a half minutes left in the half. St. Thomas Moore up 25 16. And now he gets it on the wing. Oh, another, it looks like gonna be another travel violation. They got to clean that up. Otherwise, that lead is going to get thinner and thinner. Stallings pass to Gonzalez. Back to Stallings. Ball's loose. Picked up by the Comets. Gonzalez is three pointer. No good. Boarded by Savickle. Gets it back to the middle. It's fresh down the wing. Gets it to Boltman to the post. Layup is no good. He gets no rebound. The second shot is no good as well. Defense, 
Stallings trying to get the open three, but not there. That's what he can tell us in the top. Guarded by Rondo. Oh, and looks like they're going to get Landry for a foul. Man. Number 14, Grace Lancey, first personal foul, 45. The line shooting two for the comments is number three, Janelle Damro. The Damro's first free throw is no good. Checking back in for the Cavaliers are number 20, Zoe Gisminet, number 34, Mia Benetti. And for Natalie and Rachel. Demo's second free throw is good off the glass. So we cut that lead down to eight. 6.25 left in the half. This one that gets to the Landry on the wing. Looking for something to be open. Boltman's cut gets there. Layup is no good, but she draws the foul on number 14. Uh, number 14, Amelia Gonzalez. That's her first personal foul, 13 foul. At the line for your Cavaliers is number 40, Anna Boltman, shooting two. And Boltman's first free throw is no good. And Boltman's second free throw is good. Dallas drives. Oh, and Benetti almost had the steal there. Stallings drives, and the shot is no good. You gotta watch that foot. Gonzalez gets it on the wing. Goes all the way to Stallings on the other side. Trap is coming. Gets it out of Gonzalez quick. Crawl drives. Puts the moves on, and the layup is good. Spin move Euro step combo. Good play by Crawl. Benetti gets it on the wing. Boltman's ball screen works. Get some space. Kick it back up to this Spinette. That's the clash down the wing. And they're going to call another Travis on the Cavaliers. Taking back over Cavaliers is number 10, Rachel Twinkle. Taking back over is number 25. It's SDM's third round in violation. We got to pick that up. Thomas ball going down. Stallings gets it to Gonzalez. Trap. Trap on the top. Oh, an easy steal by Dispinet. Trying to get the 2v1. And it looks like it's stripped off the comp. It's going to be Cavalier's ball. Looks like Savico is going to be taking the inbounds pass. Oh, Boltman's wide open in the corner. Three-pointer goes a little bit long. Boltman by Petrucci. Stallings taking it up. Down by seven, 450 left in the half. Crow cuts, Crow takes a shot. Oh, good. And gonna be Delvedarian ball. And same type of source going to call their first time out. You'll be back. Hey, everyone. This is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike. It's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is... Game Mike. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports, and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp 
at cbsinteractive.com. We are back after the timeout. 4.45 left in the half. St. Thomas Moore up by seven. Lebedarian ball on the bottom. Trying to find the open woman. Get to the Stallings. Stallings takes the open three, and it's flat. St. Thomas Moore has got to pick that one up. Game's coming ever so closer now. Snickle gets it to Disconnect on the wing. Drives. Lane is not there. Oh, it's picked off by Gonzalez. She keeps it. Goes to the Stallings on the top. Oh, and a good steal by Benetti there. And her layup is good. Makes that score up 28 to 22. Four minutes left in the half. Overpass by the Comets. This Bennett gets the easy steal. Yeah, a 2v1 situation. Oh, it deflected off of the Comets. Ball's batted around a few times, but it goes back to Kevin. This Bennett's three is good. Increases the lead to nine. And Stalling gets the open three. No good. Boarded by the Stephanus, back to Savickle. Looking for Benetti, Benetti gets it in pass on the corner. Savickle is back on the wing. Swings it to this Benet. The Stephanus with the ball screen. The three pointer is no good. Boarded by Janelle Damro. Gonzalez looking for something to be open, gets it back to Stalling. Passing back and forth to each other on the top right now. Going to get to the Kotashi. Looking for something. Get it back to Gonzalez. Stalin drives on Boltman. Shot is up. No good. Scored it. Deflected by Disconnect and got right to Savickle. And her lamp is no good. Gonna call a clean deflection there. So Fletcher and Lanzi are back in for the Cavaliers. Gonna be STM ball at the bottom. So Nickel gets to the Kleska. This is the ball. And they're gonna call a foul on the ground there. On the counter. Uh, number 24 comes in the Stallings. That's her first personal foul. 14 foul. Score still remains 31 to 22. 220 left in the half. Oh, a little bit of a miscommunication there by the Cavaliers. Easy steal by Belvedereum. Stallings trying to get a fast break. Defense is back. Gonzalez started by Kleiske. Takes it to Crawl. Carl drives on Lanzi. Another block by Lanzi. Good defense there. Going to be Comets ball into the hoop yet again. Second block by Lanzi tonight. Oh, the Kortoshi steps over the line again. That's Cavalier ball going down. Belvedere's got to pick that one up. Good call by the student section there. I don't, I don't think the ref would have caught that. Great call by the student section there. That's Kortushi's second time stepping her foot over the line on the inbounds pass. Cavalier ball still. Benetti for three. No good. Boarded by Stephanus and the book is good. Way to out muscle the center there. 
Good layup by DeStefano. Scores now 33-22 with one and a half minutes left. Looks like they're going to call a push foul on Benetti there. Mia Benetti, that's her first personal foul, 15th foul. Checking in for the Cavaliers, their number is 20, Zoe Dismanetta, number 40, Hannah Boltman. Delvedere is going to have the ball on the hoop again. And five seconds there! And the comments got to learn how to get it out of the bottom. Third violation there by Kortoshi. Too many mental mistakes there. Cavalier ball going to Oh, and Dispinet drops the easy pass. Thomas Bell going down. That's what happens when you try to run a little bit fast paced. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. It leads to simple mistakes like that. Solid and started by Civical. They're going to call Civical for a. A body foul there. Number 10, Rachel Spickle. That's her second personal foul. 16 foul for Thomas Moore. So Delvedarian is one foul away from the bonus. Score is still 33-22 with 105 left in the half. Oh, and the throw is wide open. And Lansley goes to the block, but it's no good. Layup is good by Riley Crow. Makes that lead single digits again. 50 seconds left in the half. This Benet gets it on the top. Oh, and another easy pass gone wrong by the Cavaliers. Thomas Ball going down. Gonzalez and Stallings in the backcourt. Letting the ball roll to get some time. Crow gets it on the wing, guarded by Lansley. Let's see if he can get blocked again. Gonzalez on the top, swings it over to Logsman, and it's going to be deflected off the Cavaliers. Inbounds, Comets basketball. Comets basketball. Another inbounds pass. This is the one thing that Delvedere needs to pick up, especially right now. Let's see if she can get it in. Deflected off of Benetti. And it looks like the ball's going down. Good swap by Mia Benetti. This Benetti Benetti in the backcourt. 30 seconds left in the half. Kicks to the boatman on the wing. Oh, she has the open lane. And they're going to call it travel yet again. Twenty seconds left in the half. Gonzalez is going to let the ball roll. Takes it right back to Stalling. Crawls and crawl on the wing. Passes it to Stalling. Stalling drives. Gonzalez's three is good. Five seconds left in the half. Oh, picked off by Stalling, and Stalling half court, no good. And it would have been a no shot anyway. So just to reiterate what the front table said, St. Thomas Moore is up 33-27. The All right, so we'll be back in a couple minutes for a special report. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so the people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mic. Thank you for listening in. Game Mic was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live 
audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening.